Today we are going to do a really, really simple dish with this fantastic wild mallard. It's lovely. What a beautiful plate of ingredients. You know the colours. Got some petit pois, one carrot which I'm going to slice, one onion which I'm going to slice, two garlic cloves, a couple of slices of smoked bacon, a bay leaf, this lovely duck, some wild mint and some wine. So I've got some oil heating in my lovely cast iron pan. I've got me oven preheated gas mark two. As per usual, you look up there, you'll see it. So all I'm gonna do, I've got two pieces of streaky bacon. We've got some fat on this, which is good, because obviously fat is flavor. So I've just put a little bit of oil in there just to help it on its way. I'm gonna get this in there, get it browning off nicely, crisping up, releasing all that lovely flavor of this smoked bacon. So, that goes in there. Sizzle, sizzle straight away. Right, my bacon's going good guns. Gonna season this duck. Get some pepper in. Get some on the outside. Get some salt in the cavity as well. Just a little bit on the outside. Get it all over. Then I'm just waiting for my bacon browning nicely. As soon as that's done, we're gonna take that out, put our duck in, and we're gonna start browning it off. And you know the drill, obviously you put it in, one breast first, brown, turn it over, breast, leg, leg, and then the back, and that's done. Right, that's my bacon done. Just take that out, sizzle, sizzle. Obviously, you don't really wanna be using metal implements in your, cast iron pot but hey ho right to take the heat out of that little bit and all we're going to do is one breast side down gently place it in and you know take your time with this it's going to take about 10 minutes to add a bit of colour you know nice and gentle turning it and turning it and in the meantime I'm going to chop the onions and carrots so I've just done my carrots just finishing this onion not too big, not too small. Because obviously it's going to go with the peas. So, as you can see there, it's got a lovely colour on that duck. Obviously when you're braising, you're not going to get any colour. Because you're doing it in the liquid. So, into that pot. I'm going to put my onions and my carrots. Just till they take on a little bit of colour. As you can see there then, just frying off my diced carrot and onion. Just want a little bit of colour on them. And obviously we're frying those. Started off the bacon in the olive oil, you know, that released some of its fat and then we put the duck in there and that released its fat and then we're cooking those and all that and we're building up layers, you know. It's a fantastic way to cook. Anyhow, that's been in. You know, that's just taking on a little bit of colour. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put my garlic in. That's two garlic cloves. Now you don't want to give these too much heat because you don't want to burn it and make it bitter. So we just basically warm them through a bit. That'll do. And then we're going to add oh, a glass of wine. Get in there. Let that get to know each other a minute. And into that, I'm going to put 400 grams of lovely petit pois, which I'm using the frozen one because they're fantastic and absolutely amazing product. I mean, look at that. The colours in there. Let's see if I can bring that forward. Okay, lovely. Get that on. Once that's all warmed through. We're just going to sit the duck on, we're going to get it in that oven. Right, let's show you where we are. So that has come back up to eat again, obviously, from adding those frozen peas. So into there, put my duck there. We reintroduce the bacon, put all that oil as well. That goes in. Great colours, isn't it? One bay leaf, which we just crack. Mmm, release the flavours. Smell that. And then, I'm going to sit our duck on top of that beautiful pea braise. 
I mean that's a picture all I'm going to do then put it back on the heat just to warm it get it going then in that oven like I said gas mark two for at least an hour my duck has been in for an hour I should just show you what we got with my manly gloves again look at that I could tilt that up for you fantastic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that duck out I'm going to let it cool just enough so I can handle it carve it so as you can see got my peas on just heating through gently here's my rested duck and all I'm going to do with this because obviously there's not too much on them so I'm going to cut straight down the middle it'll be half a duck a portion which will be fantastic just go down there and obviously this is one of the times when you know it's all right for duck to be served a little bit darker and all I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce those two halves two lovely halves duck in there I'm just going to warm that through right a few mint leaves roll them up get them in this will really freshen it up nice and punchy this is you cannot beat fresh herbs especially with those petty poires petit poires dear boy petit poires not petty poires right smells gorgeous let's get that in oh. just give it a taste in it see if we need any seasoning oh that's gorgeous right just have a look in there just gonna take that duck out so I can get to my peas fantastic give them a stir up nice big on the plate for that bacon the garlic onions and the carrots I'm just going to put that on there like that get a little bit of juice and there you have it my lovely braised duck with peas okay you all saw how easy that was simple all in one dish and look how that's cooked you get that leg off like that have a look at this meat lovely gonna have some of that peas bacon bit of bacon bit of carrot mm. now I know it's still winter here although the sun shining today but that is like spring on a plate those lovely colors it's so light and fresh and with that mint it's just awesome so please give this a go you know subscribe like it share it most of all try it thanks for watching i'm going to eat this now mm -hmm.